So what makes this game interesting then? We start by the dice. These are important. Uh, all players have their own 3d6, which they use for a number of different things in the game. They move, they resolve encounters, they use skills, they level up and other things as well. The dice represent life happening to the adventurers. There's a fair amount of chance, but some things are more expected than others when you do use the dice. They become particularly interesting when combined with these flux crystals, which are an essential part of the game. Thematically, these are drops from the flow governing the world and the going, ongoings in the world, solidified into crystals. By using flux crystals, you can alter small parts of your fate by changing something that has already happened. In game mechanic terms, a player may uh, pay one flux crystal to re-roll a die at any time. Or you may pay six flux crystals to choose the outcome of a die. Whenever you roll a straight, the adventurer touches the flow and gets one fl flux crystal uh, to its inventory. Whenever you match, exactly match the value required for success, you make a perfect roll and get three flux crystals. Flux crystals are also the currency in the game. How to spend your flux crystals is an important and far from trivial part of game.